Good morning, Hornets, and there's only eight days left for seniors and 12 days left for the rest of us. On Saturday, we have JV Boys Tennis at Euler, and on Monday, we have Varsity Boys Tennis. Miss Nold, can you tell us how you feel about bananas? Really? Bananas? Do you realize the problems can, bananas can cause at school? We have these for lunch and it is just crazy. They should ban bananas from school. No more bananas. Tuesday we have varsity boys golf at Sand Creek, JV golf at Fox Ridge, JV boys tennis, JV track at Bethel, and baseball and softball at home, and soccer at Mays South. Thursday we have track at Bishop Carroll, soccer at home, and then on Friday we have varsity track. Be sure to come out and support your fellow Hornets. We interviewed Mr. Mittman and Mrs. Crack. Hi, we're here with uh, Mr. Mittman. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> and we just at, wanted to ask him a few questions about him leaving. So, uh, Mr. Mittman, what, what's probably one of your favorite memories here at the high school? One of my favorite memories here at the I got I have a lot of them. Um, I liked the time that I was able to ride up on a motorcycle wearing a Hornet hat and I got to wave to the camera. That was kind of funny. Um, I, uh, I, I have a lot of memories that probably aren't necessarily my favorites. Um, you know, opportunities to be in classrooms. There was a, a couple of years I've, I've gone into classrooms and read books, uh, novels. There's one particular novel I've read to a class that I really enjoyed doing that. Um, you know, just uh, some of the relationships I've been able to make um, since I've been here. A lot of the students that come through the high school while I've been up here were also at middle school when I was down there. So I've got to see them develop quite a bit. This senior class, I think, is, uh, they were sixth graders my last year at the middle school. So, you know, I've seen that progression. So that's, that's probably what I'll take away the most is just seeing the development and some of the relationships I've made with some of the kids. Okay. Um, another question would be, uh, what are your plans after you leave us here at high school? Uh, I'm going to go be middle school principal. Um, and so uh, I'm trying not to get too far ahead of myself right now and, and, and make too many plans with that, uh, but there's still a lot of things that have to be decided on for next year, and so I've, I've been doing some of that, and it's taking me away from what I'm doing right now. So I'll keep doing that and uh, hopefully go on uh, scuba diving trips in the <laughs> Caribbean and go to Alaska this summer, and so that's, that's my plan. <laughs> okay. Um. We'll probably miss you for your crazy purple suit, but uh, that's a great jacket. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that jacket a standard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, will you miss me, Mr. Mitten? I will miss you a ton. You will? Yes, I will. I'm I'm, I'm getting teary eyed just sitting here thinking about. You no, know, I kind of am too. Not really. But you're. Are you gonna miss me? No, I will. Don't don't answer that question. Don't answer that question. Don't. I will miss no. every single one of you. A oh, great deal. But me more. End it. <laughs> so, are you going to miss us? Probably the kids, yes. <laughs> uh, you would be one of them, but uh, Not yes. Me. Yes, you. It's Just all, me. <laughs> it's all about how we can help each individual student. And they, you know, everybody's different, and so we make, for some, a much different uh, course of action or graduation plan to ensure that they get the required credits as well as um, get to 26. I do simple math in my office. <laughs> I only count to 26. And once we're there, all is done. So, and hopefully I want them to go on either to college or to a career. And um, so if we've prepared them well to do that, we have an awful lot of kids who go to Butler right out of here. You'll see a lot of kids in purple at Butler. I think it's in our blood. And uh, it's a great place for them all to start. And they go on, certainly, to the four-year schools and out and about, and uh, not just in Kansas, but um, 
I think the staff prepared, the teachers prepared them very well, and uh, they're prepared to go on to be well, doing better things. Well, thank you for all your service here, Ms. Crack. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for letting us interview you. It's been my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Anyone interested in joining the Environmental Club needs to contact Christian Averman or Mrs. Edwards. And now the moment you guys have all been waiting for, the winner of the lip sync battle. And the winner of the lip sync battle is... Mr. Vogel! Congratulations, you are the winner. Your prize is coming.